2000, Square developed and published Vagrant's story for the Sony PlayStation. The game focused on that of the card of Ashley Riot. Within the kingdom of Valendia, as through events, Ashley needs to travel to the abandoned city of Leamonde to investigate a murder mystery of a high-ranking nobility being that of Duke Bardoba. Ashley is framed for a murder and must clear his name, but at the same time he suffers from repressed memories, or needs to rediscover the truth. The game was one of the most defining of the PlayStation's graphics processing, and even though in the same year of 2000 the PlayStation 2 was released, the original PlayStation still had much graphics strength within it. The game, as well as the card of Ashley Riot, were both critically hailed by critics and gamers alike, as the game was one of the most complex yet easy to play role playing games of the late original PlayStation era. Due to the scenario of Ashley Rye being framed for murder as well as his own repressed memories, gamers, when playing for the first time, were often unsure of how the story would progress, on the details for the character being just as mysterious as the story. After the game was released, and the game was completed by gamers, there were many questions from both gamers and critics about a possible sequel or prequel due to conditions at the story's end. Even though tragically nothing ever came or emerged from Vagrant Stories developers. At the time of the game's release, it was designated as one of the last good role-playing games for the PlayStation before focus shifted development to the PlayStation 2. As mentioned, developers of the game also remarked that Ashley Riot as a character would be hard to portray in a sequel or prequel, because technically nothing more was learned about the character in Vagrant's story only suppressed memories or details about his past, no technical development of him as a character. In 2004, Yatsumi Masuno, one of the script scenario writers, commented that Vagrant's story takes place in the Final Fantasy Tactics universe, as in 2006, Final Fantasy XII also had references to Vagrant's story. In 2011, Matsuno mentioned on his Twitter account about references to Final Fantasy tactics within Vagrant's story were now viewed as fan service and not to be taken seriously, which contradicted claims made by him and others that Final Fantasy tactics, Vagrant's story, were originally within the same gaming universe of his creation, which was Evilis. In 2020, Final Fantasy XIV received the 5.25 patch which added a number of side quests to the game, and one of them was Save the Queen, Blaze of Gangnir. This particular side quest was conceived by Matsuno, as details had it that the side quest was distantly related to ideas that he had for a possible Vagrant Story sequel, but by that time the game had been released more than 20 years previously, and even if something is done in either a sequel, prequel, or even reboot, the original plans for the story have long since been forgotten, and if implemented will be most likely changed to reflect the times of the game that it would be released in. Sometimes a character could be forgotten because you'd imagine there would be a continuation of the story, but technically there wasn't.